What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So there is a new CPU in the Android TV box world. We are talking about, of course, the S905 X2. So a lot of you have been asking me which one is better, the S905 X2 or the S912 Octa-Core. Well, to answer your questions, today I bring you a real-time head-to-head comparison between these two CPUs. So on the left, we have the Tanix TX92, which is one of the best performing S912 Octa-Core TV boxes we have seen so far. And on the right, we have the T9 5Q, which is currently the best performing S905 X2 TV box we have seen so far. So here are the specs side by side. You can see that this is a showdown between an octa-core versus a quad-core. We have the Mali T820 versus the Mali G31. We have three gigs of DDR4 RAM versus four gigs of DDR4 RAM. Both have dual band Wi-Fi AC with Bluetooth version 4.1. We have a gigabyte LAN in the TX92 and a hundred megabyte LAN in the T9 5Q. You got Android 7 versus Android 8. Both support 4K HDR at 60 frames per second along with 5.1 surround sound. So let's just quickly compare the ports you get on both of these boxes. We've got two USB ports on both boxes, but the T95Q has a USB 3. We have an AV port and power socket, an Ethernet port, HDMI out, optical out, and a microSD card slot. So if we have a look at the TX92, we do have a microSD card on the side. We've got an AV port, network LAN, power socket, but we do not have an optical out. So there is no optical out on the Tanix TX92 and also there's no USB 3. Everything else ports wise is pretty much the same. So now we're going to run a number of tests to find out if there is a real time difference in speed between these two boxes. So first of all, let's begin with the boot up speed test. So beginning the boot up speed test with the TX92, it took exactly 36 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So next up, the boot up speed test for the T9 5Q. And this box took a full 39 seconds to load the home screen from a cold start. So the next test I am running is the Wi-Fi speed test. We have the TX92 on the left and the T9 5Q on the right. And you can see we have quite similar results for the Wi-Fi speed test. So both TV boxes provide nearly the maximum speed of my broadband connection. So this is how it stands at the moment. The boot up speed test was won by the Tanix and the Wi-Fi speed test was won by the T95Q. So if it was a score as to speak, we are currently drawing with one point each. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is clock speeds and CPU information. So here is CPU-Z information for the TX92 connected to a 1080p capture card. And here is the CPU information. So we do have eight cores four of which are clocked at a maximum speed of 1.51 gigahertz and the other four cores are clocked at one gigahertz. Now the Tanix is advertised with the S912 with a clock speed of two gigahertz and obviously that information is not true, it's actually 1.51 gigahertz. Moving on, this box has Android 7.1.2 and comes rooted as standard. So we are now looking at the CPU-Z information for the T95Q. Now this is a quad-core CPU with a maximum clock speed of 1.8 GHz. And this CPU has been advertised with a 2 GHz clock speed. And this box is running Android version 8.1.0 Oreo. And this box also comes rooted as standard. So now we're going to see how long it takes to complete an Antutu benchmark test on each device, beginning with the Tanix TX92. And to save you guys from ultimate boredom, I have sped up the whole process to give you the results quicker. So here are your results. It took eight minutes, 42 seconds to complete the anti two benchmark test. And the T9 5Q took nine minutes and 20 seconds. I also did the same for Geekbench. And here are your results all on one page. The left hand side shows you the Tanix TX92 and the right hand side shows you the T9 5Q. So feel free to pause the video and analyze this information. And I would like to know who you guys think won the test of the benchmarks. 
So it's recap time. So this is everything that's happened so far. And you can see that the T95Q is winning every single test apart from the boot up speed test. But we're not finished. It's now time for the 4K video test. So both TV boxes is capable of playing smooth 4K video at 60 frames per second. But I have to say the Tanix looks slightly better with a brighter image and vivid colors. So moving on now to the gaming test. So we're testing the load times and GTA took 20 seconds to load on the Tanix TX92. And when we ran the same test on the T95Q, it took a little longer. It took a total of 28 seconds to fully load on the T95Q. Now let's just quickly check out the gameplay quality. The TX92 is on the left and the T95Q on the right. I need that shit you drive. So for the final test, we're going to open up a few popular apps and we are going to compare the app loading time. So let's begin with Netflix. So Netflix took five seconds to load on the TX92. Thereafter, Amazon Prime Video took five seconds and YouTube took an amazing seven seconds to fully load. Same test with the T95Q. It took 1.6 seconds to load Netflix. And thereafter, YouTube took 6.9 seconds and Amazon Prime Video took 5 seconds. So there you have it guys, the results of this head-to-head -head comparison. A different type of video, especially for you guys, to try and answer a difficult question. So after seeing this video, which box do you prefer? Which one is better? The Tanix TX92 with the S912 Octa-Core or the brand new T95Q with the S905X2? Which one would you go for and why? Do let me know in the comments below. Now, from my experience testing both boxes side by side, speed wise, there is not a lot between them. We're talking about a few seconds here and there. Real time usage, they seem quite evenly matched. However, I think the T95Q is slightly better in performance when opening and closing apps and general operation of the box. It's a real close call, but personally, I would go for the new box. I like that it runs Android version 8 Oreo and you're getting USB 3 support with more RAM and subjectively a faster overall performance. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check any of these boxes out. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.